Hello everyone. So today we are going to learn how to do the bone preparation. So first thing to prepare the bone is to abstract the bone. So you can see that we have abstract the femur, then we have the fibula, then we have the tibia over here. Uh, the first thing that you are going to do is uh, scrapping all the muscle tissue that are attached over here. That we have to scrap and remove. So that is what we are. We already have done. Some of the fibers are there, so we are going to abstract it. So that is how we are going to abstract uh, all this muscle tissue and clean up the bone. Okay. You can see there are some of the muscle fiber are attached over here. It is very difficult for uh, to scrap the muscle tissue from here because uh, they are firmly attached over here. So we have used the sand paper and we can just start scrapping so that the remaining part of the muscle tissue can be removed from here. Now, what is the chemical that is required for preparing the bone? Is the first one. If you can see, this is the acetone with us. There is a potassium hydroxide with us, and hydrogen peroxide is there with us. So, the first thing that we are going to do is going to dip these bones into the potassium hydroxide solution. So, let us see. Now you can see we have a bucket with us which is filled of water and we are going to add the potassium hydroxide into it to prepare the solution. Now you can see the color consistency is now becoming a white so we are going to add some more potassium hydroxide into it. The solution is prepared so that the muscle tissue which are adherently attached to the bones can be easily removed from the bone. So now what we are going to do, we are going to cap the bones. We are going to cap the So we are going to cap these bones inside these solutions so that the muscle tissue that are adherently attached will lose its attachment and it will be easily removed from this area but start so after scrapping the bones so you can see that the muscle tissue are now pretty much uh, removed from the bones uh, but still there are some tissues you will find onto the upper end and lower end where it is very adherently attached with the bone so now what we are going to do we are going to prepare a paste of bleaching powder over here, we have a bleaching powder with us, so we have just uh, kept this bleaching powder in tray and now what we are going to do, we are going to prepare a paste from it by adding the tap water, so now you can see I am just making a fine paste. This fine paste will help us to remove uh, the muscle tissue from the upper end as well as lower end where it is adherently attached over here. So now you can see the fine paste is prepared now. So now what we are going to do, we are going to apply this fine paste onto the upper end where uh, the muscle fiber are adherently attached. In its the sharp part also we are going to apply the same but over here the consistency of uh, this uh, solution is uh, not that much we are going to just apply a small amount of paste over here but in its lower end we are going to We are going to apply heavy so now, quantity after applying of bleaching solution powder. Now you can see we have kept this bone for two days to dry up. 
once it get dry up you can see the consistency of this bleaching powder with rubbing it is removing the particles are start removing so now this is a properly uh, this bone is properly dried up now the next process that we are going to do is we are going to boil this bones uh, so we have uh, kept uh, a vessel over here and now we are going to put it inside and uh, just allow it to boil for at least 1 to 2 hours After the boiling process, now we are going to enter into the second phase of the bone preparation. So that will be the removal of uh, the muscle tissue that is adherently attached onto the bone even after the boiling process. And for that, we are going to take this sandpaper with us. And what you have to do, you have to take this uh, bone. So if you can see, uh, even after boiling process, this bone still has uh, some sort of adherent muscle tissue okay and for that what we are going to do we are going to scrap this bone with the sandpaper to remove all this adherent muscle tissue after scrapping you can see now this uh, muscle uh, this bones it is clean and there is no adherent muscle tissue you will find onto the surface so now this bone is quite prepared and now we are going to enter into the third phase of that is a drying process so for drying process you can uh, go with the three process uh, you can uh, keep these bones into the sand uh, so that the sand will absorb all the moisture that is present within the bone uh, that is the one process the second process that you can go with is the acetone you, are, you can put it uh, this bone into the acetone solution so again the same uh, same phenomena happen the acetone is going to absorb all the moisture that is present within the bone and the third and the most uh, used uh, used process uh, of the drying process is uh, you can keep these bones into the sunlight why we are keeping these bones into the sunlight uh, unwanted accidents may happen like uh, this bone uh, this bone if uh, some of the birds uh, the small bone that is a hyoid bone and the clavicle this kind of bones if you are putting it into the onto the terrace this bone can be carried by the birds and that uh, will lead to the, some legal issues so whenever you are putting it into the any of the terrace uh, for the drying process you have to be aware for that thank you so after drying process uh, this drying process actually takes uh, seven days so now after drying process this bone is completely ready for the study purpose you can, uh, if you are going to touch this bones, you will find no moisture on this bones. So now this bone is completely ready. We have done uh, additional work over here. Uh, we had uh, start painting uh, the landmarks of the bones. So for the better understanding of all these landmarks which are present on the bone. And for painting purpose, we had used uh, the acrylic color. You can also use the oil paint color on that. Uh, after painting the, that uh, Landmarks you can put a varnish on it so that the color cannot be get traded from that particular bone.